Good day. I just want to share a testimony, an amazing, amazing testimony of, of uh, how the, the power of God is still moving and, and, and is still pre uh, prevalent for today. Um, so what you're looking at right now is a man on the left-hand side, well, to your left, I guess, yeah, with the man in the hood and the sweater. Um, his name is Mateus. He, uh, he was sent on a mission from the devil. I know without a reason of a doubt yesterday to try to harm me and hurt me. Um, I was at the Anaheim Angel Stadium with my sign uh, for my uh, one of my uh, ministries called PleaseDiscipleMe.com. Anyways, I was down there holding a sign for when people you know were driving by. I was trying to trying to show a sign with people. Anyways, I felt this um, I felt this real strong uh, strong. Uh, unclean a murderous spirit uh, and, and I felt it in a way that um, I had never felt before I, I I've been around a lot of demonic activity as, as a youngster you know in, in being involved in witchcraft and these types of things and and I knew what the spirits were and I, and I, and I'm you know as, as a deliverance minister I, I as well I know these spirits and I heard the Holy Spirit say murder and I and I turned around, I turned around and I saw this man, he didn't have that sweater on, he had a shirt on, but he, you could tell he was, he was on drugs and alcohol and, and he had his hand, one of his hands in his pocket, like he was like, I don't know if he had a gun or a knife or what, and then he had on his other hand, he had like a red bandana and it was wrapped up, like he was getting ready to hit me and, and do maybe stab me or shoot me or something, I don't know exactly, I didn't ask him about that because I was just so focused on trying to get this man saved, um, but Anyways, I, I I wrote it down on Facebook what I had said. I don't want to take this video too long, uh, and I don't want, definitely don't want to take it out of context what happened. So uh, this is what I wrote. Uh, so the devil sent this man to hurt me, but instead he gets deliverance, salvation, healing, a Bible, and a hug. <laughs> um, I was flying my sign all alone last night at the Angel Stadium and felt this unclean spirit and heard the word murder. I quickly turned around and this man was with no sweater on was creeping up on me he was kind of like lurking in the bushes but was behind me in his eyes I seen that uh, he was on a mission to harm me um, Holy Spirit gently suggested that I pay no attention to this demoniac and to turn my back on him and normally I wouldn't do that but the Holy Spirit's like just tr just ignore him turn your back on him so I did and continued about the father's business after about 20 seconds, I felt him creeping up on me slowly from behind. You know when you can feel someone like doing that? I felt that um, from behind. Uh, so I did. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Then I turned around. Oh, after about 20 seconds, I felt him creeping on up on me slowly. I then turned around and he was about five feet from me. I looked at him with compassion yet knew he was sent to harm me and asked him, how can I help you? He began to shake uncontrollably, then tried uh, lunging at me, but couldn't move. His eyes were full of violence and rage. His hands were rolled up into a ball and shaking uncontrollably. And he was trying to break this force field that was not allowing him to plunge at me. I walked up into his face and took a deep breath then said with all my spirit, Spirit of murder, get out in Jesus' name. Spirit of rage and anger, get out in Jesus' name. Get out, devil. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out. I command you, foul unclean spirits, to come out in the name of Jesus. Every demon that's speaking to your mind, I command to shut up in Jesus' name. He began shaking uncontrollably. Then I said, then I said look at me, young man. Then said to him, "Are you? You are." And then I said to him, "You are loved. You have a father in heaven who loves you and will never forsake you. His name is Jesus. Today you will meet him and become a child of God. I speak healing over you. I pray a banner of love over you." Then he began to weep like a child. I then laid my hand on his heart and commanded healing into his heart. Put my hand on his head and prayed healing over his mind. Then I gave him a big Jesus hug, <laughs> which was a hug that completely disarmed the devil. He looked at me like, what just happened? What the world just happened to me? 
I then took him to the side and asked if he wanted to give his life to Jesus, in which he replied, yes. He then confessed with his mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I gave him a, a, a Bible, then we found him a sweater. I tried reaching out to, uh, to men's homes in Anaheim, but there was no answer. Holy Spirit gave me direct orders to explain to, uh, what he needed to do in order for me to help him. The orders were that I was to call the fire department or ambulance and for him to check in for 24 hours in order to get the specific referrals that he needed, like blood work and etc. I put my name and number on the front page of the Bible that we gave him and I told him to call me in the morning and that I would help him find a home. Whether he calls me or not, I have to release him to the Lord because the logo that God gave me for our ministry at please disciple me.com um, it says um, that Paul plants and Apollos waters but only God can make make it the, uh, the, make it sprout and grow or give it increase so father right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, we commit Matthias unto your hands Lord we pray that you would grant him the spirit of repentance in Jesus name so that he that he will be an instrument of righteousness one day and his prayer would be that your will be done, not his, in Jesus' name. Amen.